Today, we are going to be naming the ionic compound MgSO4. Now, here's a little trick, guys. If you have a compound that has three or more different elements in it, you know that you're dealing with at least one polyatomic ion. So it's always easiest to identify the polyatomic ion and then work from there. In this case, I have the three elements. I have Mg for magnesium, S for sulfur, and O for oxygen. Now, let's identify that polyatomic ion. But it's kind of challenging because polyatomics are never going to be on the periodic table. You need to memorize them. I wrote down the one that we're going to see here. So just flashcard it out, write it down, do whatever you got to do to memorize these polyatomics. Go through the playlist and just write down all the polyatomics that we have worked through. Okay, and then just memorize them just by working with them. And it will make chemistry much easier for you guys. So SO4 which is always a negative two charge, is always called sulfate. Ah, and here it is. Here's the SO4. Gotcha, right? Found you out. That's the polyatomic ion. The only thing I got to do now is just identify what magnesium is. But if I look on the periodic table, magnesium is right here. It's in group two. And all of group two are alkaline earth metals, so they're metals. So magnesium is a metal. And now I'm ready to name the metal name, right, since magnesium came first, I got to name that first. But that one's easy because metals always stay exactly the same. So I'm just going to say magnesium. Okay. And now I got the polyatomic coming up. But polyatomics are also easy to name because those names stay the same. So if it was sulfate, it's going to stay sulfate. Now, since this is a ionic compound, I just got to make sure, do I need a Roman numeral in here? But magnesium is not part of the transition metals, right? It's not in this block. It's over here. So I don't need a Roman numeral. So I'm done. So MgSO4 is magnesium sulfate. And there you go. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Love talking to you guys, and I hope you're doing well. Hope you're studying hard. You got this, all right? Good luck on all your tests and quizzes, and I'll see you in future lessons. Take care. Bye-bye.